If you want to add some animation to the elements on your site, you can do so at a block level, columns or elements on their individual basis. Let's look at the block first. You go to the block settings, access the settings and then go to effects. This gives the same sidebar with the styling and effects. You will have these various entrance animations. Let's say we call this one a fade in and it will fade in. You have the option here with more settings below for the direction as well as the duration delay. And if you want to see it again, click here on replay animation. Put it onto none for now. And let's have a look at how we can animate columns. Select the first column, go to the settings, select effects. This time the entrance animation as well as the option for scroll effects. Again, with the entrance, you're going to have these and you can have something like a bounce. Rotate. And note that doesn't matter what I choose, it applies it to the column and all the contents within. For each of these, you have settings down here as well as infinite animation if you want it to appear a few times. This could be useful in a case like animation and you want it to keep flashing all the time. Put it back on none and let's have a look at scroll effects. Scroll effects are best applied to design elements or images, but not text. But to show you how it works, let's go ahead and select one of these for that column. Click on vertical. Options appear here at the bottom. And now as you scroll on the page, you will see that the vertical scroll effect is applied to everything inside the column. You have a direction between up and down. As I scroll down, it goes down. As I scroll up, it goes up. And then you have control over the speed, how quickly the animation is affected, as well as where in the viewport it will start and end, effectively shortening it. With scroll effects, you can apply more than one effect at a time. Let's also activate a rotate. Now you see that we have it rotating as well as vertical movement on the page. Play around with the various scroll effects and entrance animations to find something that works for the content on your site.